I don't assume they know anything about That's me. That's right. I mean, That's I'm right. not famous. Frank Schaefer, author, political commentator, slash political commentator, author of Crazy for God. Back in 1954, what was the basic motivation? To demonstrate that God existed. Divine providence seems to have fixed up everything. You didn't die of polio. The avalanches did not demolish our house. All the things that happened. I grew up on stories of miracles in the Gobi Desert, angels showing up to feed missionaries, rescue children. In terms of the neural pathways of my brain, I'm wired that way. What in the end, then, is the answer to the monstrous inhumanities which humanism has produced in our culture? This whole thing is truth that I have in the totality of Christianity. And what you have is a complete lie. You may think that you're a Christian, but you're not. This morning, our subject is book banning. Particularly books from a traditional Orthodox Christian point of view. The only thing the ecumenical movement in the 60s did for Catholicism was to infiltrate it with the rot of liberal Protestantism. What do you think about the idea of the separation of church and state? It is not a reality on the basis of the history of this nation. And it is also stupid. You know, my parents were pretty big. Hi, Tammy Faye. Hi, Jim Baker. My dad has pictures with Reagan and George Bush Sr. We used to leave our own graffiti in the bathroom, but... <laughs> How much consideration are you going to give to people like the Reverend Jerry Falwell? I'm not going to separate myself from the people who uh, elected us and, and sent us there. We appreciate your vision, Mr. President. A Christian man with a vision of a world of freedom and democracy. The Supreme Court invalidated the abortion laws of almost every state in the union. Who once knew better words, now only use four letter words, writing prose. Anything goes. If clinics were bombed, people were shot, so we actually saw people murdered. And there's no question that they had been influenced by what we were doing. Anything goes. People say, oh, well, you've departed a long way from your parents. Where I've left is in thinking that you can be both an evangelical Christian and a reasonable human being. You know, those people consider me as their enemies, and they're right, because I am.